good morning dear students hope you are doing well students today we are going to learn the use of punctuation marks so let us see how to use them while writing so the first thing we are going to learn is the use of full stop a full stop is used at the end of a sentence and each sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop let us see some examples rohan is my best friend she is my neighbor we go to the same school i love painting so these are called sentences but these are not correct do you know why okay so let me to explain you there are two important rules to be followed while writing sentences so the first rule is that a sentence always begins with a capital letter so let us write all these sentences with a capital letter Rohan is my best friend. We write R capital. She is my neighbor. We write S capital. We go to the same school. We write W capital. I love painting. We write I capital. So children, now you can see each of the sentence begins with a capital letter now let us move to the second rule that we must follow while writing the sentences full stop a sentence always ends with a full stop a full stop is a small dot which is placed at the end of the sentences so let us go back to these sentences and put a full stop rohan is my best friend she is my neighbor we go to the same school i love painting so children now you have learned the use of full stop so please don't forget to put a full stop at the end of your sentences children you already have learned about the nouns and pronouns so let me to remind you that the pronoun i is written in a capital letter wherever it appears for example amit and i are brothers a proper noun always begins with a capital letter for example she shares her toys with mohan so mohan is written in with a capital letter because it is a proper noun so remember wherever proper noun comes whether in the beginning of the sentence or in the middle of the sentence you have to use the capital letter Am I right, children? Now we are going to learn the use of a question mark. Let us see an example. How many sweets does Amit eat? So, children, do you notice the symbol used at the end of the sentence? It is called a question mark. A sentence that asks a question. ends with a question mark let us see some examples what is your name will you play with me can you share your toys with me so children now you have learned the use of full stop and question mark so whenever you ask a question you have to put a question mark so children i hope you have understood the use of a capital letter 
full stop and a question mark. Now I'll be giving you some exercises to complete in your notebooks. Thank you and take care.